name is Kyle. I'm 57 years old. I was born in Paris, Texas, and I now live in Washington, D.C. I was kind of late in coming out as a gay person. I had one encounter that that's all it took was one time and I became HIV positive. This was in 1987. Within a couple years, I had full-blown AIDS. I had five T cells. I always joke and tell people, you know, I I'd had a, they all had a name. <laughs> you know, it's like I had, it was a very personal thing for my five T cells, and it's like Lucy, Ricky, Fred, Ethel, and Little Ricky. When I really got to my really sickest point and, and everything, I was in the hospital one night, and my fever kept climbing, climbing. I got up to 107. They could see they were getting ready to lose me, so they, they asked me if I'd like a, a minister. But before the priest could get there, all of a sudden, I, I went out. I saw a horizon. It was this brilliant, bright horizon. And my two grandmothers and my great-grandmother, they were all standing there, and I started, I was so excited, and I started walking to them. And my grandmother stopped me, and she said, it's not time yet. It was so peaceful and the light started disappearing and I started coming back. My fever dropped to normal just like that. For me to get HIV was life-changing. I had been an Air Force officer. I had three very successful careers. And HIV took all that away from me. I think when I had the near-death experience, I realized, you know, there was something else. So I started a spiritual journey. I saw wonder in everything that I did. Anthony is my partner of 18 and a half years. He's what they call a non-progressor, so he's never had to take medicine or anything in all the years I've known him. It's the most faithful, loving person. Even though he's difficult at times, I know he loves me and he couldn't live without me, so and I feel the same way. Miss Whoopi was such an important part of our life. She was like our, our child. She's an angel now. Yes, I'm HIV positive, but I'm so many other things. I'm a gay man, I'm a father, I'm a grandfather, I'm, I'm all many things, and HIV is just a little part of me. I asked my office if they would pose for this picture. Man, they jumped on it. They were so excited. They turn into me, I'm sitting in a chair, and they turn into me, and they lay their hands on me. And when I look back at the picture, I get very emotional because I could see in their faces, it wasn't just a staged photo. I could see the compassion.